Hi guys, welcome to Palm Closet. Today I'm going to recreate something which is called the turtleneck with the long sleeves. I have seen this design in the market and there's so many creators they trying to create in this piece and it looks really fab. The designs I have seen on the YouTube, on the Instagrams, they are creating with the crochets and knitting. But for me, I'm just gonna experiment something with this at the Express King Size machine. I found this machine really useful for the knitting. If I want to knit something and I don't want to spend too much time with it and this machine is quite helpful. I have created so many items with this machine and you guys are probably familiar with this. It's 46 needles machine with the manual rotator here on the side or counter. And here's on the side you have this little red uh, peg I would say for the round knitting and for the straight knitting so you can do both. And what else do we need for this project? You will need, um, I have the yarn here in different type and different colors because I want to create something warm. The turtleneck with the sleeves, it will be something for winter. I'm going to need this yarn. I have bought this from the local market. The color is quite lovely with the sparkling bits on the, on the yarn. And for this, for this skeins of yarn, here's the information. So you see, this is the DK light, suitable for needle and crochet number four. I mean the crochet hook number four and the knitting needles number four. DMC Brio beautiful color effect yarn. So this is the. I think it's made in Turkey. So it's 80% acrylic and 20% wool, 100 grams. The length 345 meter or 377 yards. This is uh, approximately the length of this skin. And the rest, because this one is quite thin, you can see it's quite thin yarn. And I want to make these uh, designs warmer. So I'm gonna use the extra yarns I have in the house. So I have got these yarns lying in, in the house for so many years. I bought them from England and there's three cones here, they're all different type of yarn. I would say this is the 100% yarn, the fancy yarn. 100% wool, fancy yarn. The sparkling one here in black the information here is 60% nylon and 40% viscose. In narrow is black. So made in Italy. And this one here, I would say it's 100% cotton, so they are thin. I'm just going to mix all of these yarns together to create the turtleneck with the sleeves here. What else do we need? We will need the crochet hook, the 4mm. To help to cast off or so to do the crochet trims on the different parts for example the ribbing on the sleeves part here and when you're connecting the the pieces together so you will need a crochet hook and a pair, a pair cutter the yarn needle some stitch markers and the tape measure all right to start with I have put all these yarns here on the floor and I have the machine on here so I need to grab this four you just put all of these yarns together so I have yet I uh, have now four plies to start with you just need to start from the first first peg first needles and I cleared all the rows first so you have seen many designs with the machines, you will get the ideas of how to cast on. So to cast on starting from the first needle, so you do just front to back, front to back. Make sure all the yarns go under the needles. So the needles. 
need to cast a yarn. We do front back, front back, see, cast on for, I will go for the whole rows. What I mean is just go to um, cast on in every needle on this machine, which is 46 needles. We are going to start from the turtleneck part, this one here. So we need to knit round. So I will cast on all the way around, just do front, back, front, back. And here is the last stitch and just put the yarn back into the yarn slot. And close this one. So I have the little red pack here down because I need to uh, knit it round. Now for this piece you don't need to ro rotate it backwards. You're just gonna go um, the clockwise. At the end of the last peg, the last stitch, you just need to keep going. Just keep knitting. So you have here the starting to cover the row. The row now is on the first one. So you just need to keep knitting. Make sure all the yarn goes under the needles here. There are separate different types of yarn, so they're not the same size. It's quite difficult to control the yarn sometimes. But what you can do, you just need to go slow and then you will be able to, to manage this. So I will keep going round. I will keep rotating this round. There is no need to rotate it back. You just need to go in one direction. And now you are starting to do the row number two. So you can see here the row counter. That would be row number two. So just keep going with the knitting. Go slow first, and then just keep knitting wrap. After 100 rows of the round knitting, we need to cast this off by casting off. We will start from the black one here. This is the first needle and we need to cast off from this one. So grab the crochet hook and then we need to get the yarn out of this yarn slot and then I will rotate it. I will transfer the first needle. It's so actually I have just I will start from this one because I have the yarn on here and it doesn't come out. So I will start from here. The next one here is quite difficult but you need to get the transfer the loop from the machine onto the crochet hook and then you need to pull the yarn through like this first and then just chain one. So the next one you just repeat, rotating the machine and try to get the yarn to transfer onto the crochet hook. So now you will have two of these loops and then pull the yarn through both of the loops and then you just chain one. So the next stitch, just repeat. So just transfer the the loop, the yarn from the machine onto the crochet hook, put the yarn through both loops and then you just chain one. So keep repeating this until you reach the last stitch. Just put the yarn through, I'll chain one and then I'll leave the end around this much so we need to reconnect this part on the other side. 
So I will um, at the end weave, weave this end on this part here. So we'll make this piece look nicer. Now we get the measurement of this piece. Measure the width. The width here, I would say it's around 13, 13 inches, and that would be 26 inches round. And the length, the length is around 21 inches. So that would fit into your head. So this one here, I would say this fits uh, one size uh, for the adult, adult size. Now what we need to do is to work from, I will work from where we starting to cast on here. So I will reconnecting the yarn. Like this. this tight and then I cut off the excess yarn. Now I will repeat the so you need to start from the first stitch where you have the yarn. It's quite dark color with the more hair fancy yarn it's quite um, difficult to, to see in the dark but I will start from this one first put the yarn through and the next next stitch I'm just gonna I will keep doing this until I reach the other side where we started So just keep repeating and here is where I started to do the um, the chains here. So I'm just going to slip stitch on the last one, chain one and then I cut off the yarn. So we we'll leave the end for weave in later. Now this part which is the, the total neck here is done so now we need to do the sleeves. We need to cast on exactly the same as the the teutonic part by starting from the first needles here. Make sure you clear the row so it's get back to the first one. And you do the cast on the cast on it just go front, back, front, back. This so you cast on for 35 stitches. Five stitches is here is my 35 stitches, and then I will put the yarn back into this slot here. Press it down, close this, and then you just make sure all the yarn just go under the needles. Now we need to rotate it back. So we're gonna need the flat panel. So knit it back, backwards. And at the end of the row, you just need to knit it backwards. Make sure the yarn goes under the needle. Sometimes you will need to help it. And to get the right yarn for the machines, you might need to do the little samples to um, to make sure that the yarns actually cash. The, the yarn actually works with the machine. So if it's too thick, it won't work with this machine. So just make sure that you have the. Just you did the little test 
with the samples and if it works with the machines you can use it so this machine doesn't go with the thick yarn so now you just need to keep rotating and when you're reaching the other end you just need to come backwards so we are knitting the flat panel and keep doing this for 95 rows in total So you've been knitting the straight panels for 95 rows, we need to cast this off, get the yarn off the yarn slot and we need to transfer the yarn onto the crochet hook, the first one onto the crochet hook like this. And we don't need to do the chains or anything. We're just gonna go to the second second stitch and transfer the yarn onto the crochet hook and then you pull the yarn through like this. Next one, two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through. So I will put the stitch markers on where we start to cast off and the next one just repeat next one there's no need to change in anything just transfer the yarn to the crochet hook and pull the yarn through keep doing this until you reach the last stitch and here is the last stitch. You just need to chain one after you cast this piece off. Now we need to measure this part here. So the um, the measurement of where we just cast off. 11 inches and I need to fold this piece into half and put stitch markers on so we are going to connect or join this piece onto the turtle neck part and the length of this piece I would say it's around it's about 19 19 inches. So this is the length of the sleeves. 19 inches. Now we need to grab the turtle neck that we've done. Here is the turtle neck part that I have done. I have attached one side of the sleeve onto this turtle neck part and also I have done the cuff for the sleeve so one side is done so now I'm going to show you how to do the other side for the turtle neck part I have weave in all the ends and now I have the other side so what I did was I have put the stitch markers on the on the other side where we cast off and I have the I had the yarn left. Also on the other side I just fold this piece into half and put the stitch markers on. And then I have measure this part here from the middle part outwards. To the side is around three inches and also on this side also three inches so the total of this length would be around six inches so now we need to get the sleeves that we've done so this part is where we cast off and I have the stitch markers on 
So I need to put the middle part to the middle part, the middle part of the turtle neck and the middle part of the sleeve. So make sure you put the right side and side facing each other. Now you see I have the stitch markers on the turtle neck part. So I need to get these two pieces together. So the turtle neck part would be three inches, but on this part here will be a little bit looser because it's it's a little bit bigger. But what we need to do, we need to when we reconnecting this part, we need to even the the length. So I put more stitch markers on this part here and do the other side as well. Here is where my stitch markers on this part is three inches and the length of the sleeve is bigger. I mean it's longer. And I put the stitch markers on this middle part here. So now we need to reconnect the yarn. I will start from this corner where I still have the yarn left and put the crochet hook through, pull the yarn through. So the next stitch, as this piece here, the sleeves part, it's longer than the turtle neck part, you just have to, I will try to equal the stitches and I will do the back loop to the back loop and then pull the yarn through. Move on to the next part. I wouldn't say the next stitch because they're not gonna be um, the same stitches. I'm just gonna go along with the length of the of these pieces here. So you need to do back loop and back loop together. Next one, back loop to the back loop. As long as you get the right and uh, the length. And these two pieces are equally. And the next one, just move on. So keep repeating this back loop to the back loop and then you just continue doing this until you reach the other end where the last stitch mark is. And here's my last stitch. I'm just gonna put the yarn through chain one. So we will have this part here. The length should be around six inches. Now we need to check on the other side as well. So this is the turtle neck. I have the long turtle neck so that would be very warm. So you can fold this and um, continue doing with the sleeves. I will now measure the length of where we have just connected with the turtle neck part and here is the sleeves part we need to connect this part also so get the tape measure you will need the length of 9 inches so this one will be the armhole part 9 inches so here's 9 inches It's also 9 inches, so I will put, um, just make sure you put the right side, work from the wrong side, but the right side facing each other inside, and put a few stitch markers on the sleeves here. So here's the bottom of the sleeves and the middle part. And the rest you just need to put the stitch markers on, so it's easier to work on. And now I will start working from, this is the armhole part. So I will grab the yarn and then connect with this part together. 
grab the yarn and start working from this part here this armhole part pull the yarn through, I prefer to tie it and then we just need to I will go for a slip stitch just pull the needle through the crochet hook through and then just yarn pull the yarn through front piece I will say this is the front and this is the back so the front the back pull the yarn through make sure it's not too tight or too loose and keep repeating this you just get the front to the back pull the yarn through front back piece pull the yarn through front back and try not to get too much of the the sleeves yarn here because you don't want the seams to be too thick so continue doing this until you reach the end here where you have the stitch marker the last stitch pull the yarn through chain one and then I cut off the yarn for seven later now let's check on the sleeves here just turn the piece inside out so you can see here is the turtleneck part can start it later and the other sleeves it looks weird but trendy I don't know um, it's more like I've seen the YouTube video of other creators and also I've seen these um, design or in the Zara shop and in on the celebrities they're wearing this so it's kind of like I needed to create something like this. So now we have the sleeves. So you can see the arm holds where we can put the arms in and then this part here. I have the cuff on the other side, but on this side I, I still haven't got it. So I will show you what to do with the, the cuffs here. So you need to get the yarn and then we will do the slip knot. I always leave the ends for sewing. So do the slip knot and then change up to 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen chains. And you chain two more. And do half double crochet on the third chain from the hook. So this here and do the half double crochets and you will end it up with 15 half double crochets. The next row you need to chain two, turn the work and do half double crochet on the third chain from the hook so that would be here and you do back loop only half double crochet back loop only all, all the way to the last stitch so you will have 15 half double crochets in total and at the end of the row just change two, turn the work and repeat this row so do this I will go for the length of my cuff here to cover the wristband and that would be eight inches I have done this cuff for the sleeves 
So now we need to connect the parts together. I will do it this way. So put the crochet hook through the first first stitch from the front, the the piece that facing you, and then just pull the yarn from the other side through. And then I'll chain one turn the work. Now I will do the back loop and the back loop together of these pieces. It's quite dark. And make sure you just get the back loop to the back loop and then you pull the yarn through. So next stitches just repeat. I will go for the back loop on the next stitch back loop of the next stitch it's quite dark so and put the yarn through so just keep repeating this until you reach the end of the last stitch here here's the last stitch and then I will just chain one and then turn the piece inside out so on this side would be the right side and the inside is the wrong side. Now we need to grab the sleeves. The sleeves here I have connected. I forgot to measure this part here. So the width would be the width of this end of the sleeves here would be nine inches, so that would be eighteen inches round. And we need to grab the cuff here and then con connecting this part together so I will go from right side to the right side so you position the sleeves this is where we're connecting the, the seams I will put the seam side together because the cuff here is smaller than the sleeves so we need to work this out I will put the yarn, I will put the sleeves through like this. And here is where the seams of the cuff and here's the seams of the sleeves. So I put the stitch markers on this part. And the other side, you need to find the middle part of the sleeves, also the middle part of this cuff, so that would be here. And we need to get these two together. The rest you just have to balance the length. As you can see, the cuff here it's it's more it's tighter, it's smaller, and this part is it's bigger. So I will do doing the half piece and to the half here and put the stitch markers on. So do this on the other side as well, and then we will get back to connect this part by doing exactly the same as the sleeves where you're connecting by a slip stitch do the front and the back together front back together and slip stitch front back together slip stitch so exactly the same as on the sleeve part and then you will get you will get something like this this is on the other side that I've done and the rest of the the ends you just weave them in so I will do the other sleeves and then I'll get back to you when it's all done all right guys so this turtle neck with the sleeves is done it's kind of weird but it's trendy this is kind of new trend at the moment so you will see here I have the turtle neck and the sleeves, here's the armholes here, you can put your arms in on both sides, left and right. The measurement of the sleeves plus the cuff here, when you measure from this part all the way around to 
where you connect it with the Totoneki, it's around 23.5 inches and the rest I think I have given the measurement if I have missing any you can put any comment in the this in the comment section down below so I can get back to you with the answer and you can style this to the neck uh, with any of the tops and jeans bottoms skirts I don't know you can style it with any items of your choice so okay thanks for watching guys if you ever made any of the items are by following my video so please feel free to share the photos on my Instagram account um, under pump closet name so I can take a look at them please feel free to like share and subscribe to my channel I still have many more designs to come stay tuned for the next video